I honestly don't know how many times I've seen worker placement go hand in hand with pattern building, yet here we are with a game that's maybe a bit more complex than the cutesy artwork would suggest. Hello, and welcome to Honey Buzz in 5 minutes or less. The tagline then, the bees have discovered economics, is pure genius. I mean the thematic possibilities alone are endless. But here, it's you that's been entrusted to manage a portion of the hive in order to produce honey and improve the bee economy. Absolutely mega. And this is where we ask you to tickle that subscribe button and do the likey likey. Thanking you. So it's worker bee placement that gets things going, as you start with a meagre number of drones that you're used to select from six possible action tiles each turn. Be it adding to your hive shaped tableau, foraging for pollen, heading to market to flog your hard earned honey, or increasing your pool of workers, it's all with the aim of producing goods and making money. It's then a tale of pattern building, where tiles you draw for your workers are placed so that empty cells are made that sweet nectar can be placed inside. It's when those moments arrive that the icons on your tiles are activated, and the relevant actions can be taken. But if you want to produce a certain type of honey, you have to make sure the tiles align accordingly. Which is all to say that achieving your goals is a step by step process, with the preceding action always enabling the latter, and which ultimately sees you placing nectar and producing honey, and then delivering contracts, selling goods, and pursuing end game awards, all in the spirit of a puzzle like push to gain in the most points. So why might you like it? Well, enjoyment is derived from the interconnecting mechanics. The worker placement seamlessly transitions to the tile placement of your hive, and the grid movement of your foraging exploits all the way to production and the market. There's never really the feeling that the game is having to force everything to work well together, a testament to its solid design. And it does all of this while subverting your expectations, whether it's the delayed reaction of placing your worker and the action being taken only when your tableau fashions an empty cell, or the similar elongated payoff of foraging for nectar and converting it into honey. There's a lot that's off kilter about how it plays out, and whilst it's not necessarily innovative, it's a welcome change of direction. And finally a word for production, which I abhor mentioning here, because well, you've got eyes, but it's too good not to mention. The artwork, the finish on the components, it all brings the game to life. And that's without mentioning the rulebook that provides for such an easy teach, and plays very nicely into the wonderful theming that ties the whole package in a nice little bow. But why might you not like it? Well, there's the converse byproduct of throwing a bunch of mechanics into a medium weight game, and that's that each only really scratches the surface of what's possible. So don't go expecting the deepest, almost strategic parts that make up the whole, because you'll just be left disappointed. There's also a somewhat strange dichotomy between the different ways to score. You've got your buy, sell, points grab, end game objectives and contract fulfillment, but the outcome never quite seems the way you expect. A puzzle based game that rewards efficiency should declare a fairly predictable winner, but due to a few different factors this isn't always the case. Now if you're looking for games that share similarities as a point of reference, consider Kanagawa and Mariposas. And so to close, Honey Buzz shows that you can get your puzzle on and have some sweet bells and whistles too. Alas, I've been the voice of Benji, and this video has ended. What keeps me awake at night is if they can discover economics, what else can they achieve? Stay alert.